50 grand for that desk. No more bullshit. Listen, asshole. Stop playing games with me, or else you might lose your Anna. What we have here? A letter. Looks like I had to pay someone a visit. to do about the desk. I know who has them. I have two tasks for you. We'll discuss it when we get back. Why didn't you wait for me? You never came to me. What are you talking about? Are you at home? Well, I was tired of waiting. Is she more important than me? Anna, wh what do you mean? I don't understand why you're so upset with me. Anna, do you hear me? All right, I'm coming over. You alone. No. Anna, let me get you a band aid. Okay? Are you no, mad? Let me see. Why don't you get lost with your new girlfriend and just let me be? My girlfriend, Anna. Are you I talking saw about you Heather? Into me hugging and kissing her. Anna, you're overreacting. Heather is my only half sister. She didn't want to leave the city without saying goodbye to me. Why didn't you tell him before? Because I forgot. You know, Heather was in a hurry. I was going to introduce her to you. How do you feel about that? Crazy? I love you. I promise next time I won't be so forgetful. Will you forgive me? No. Take a break from all this stuff and I'll get a band-aid for this. Okay. Right? Okay. I made dinner reservation for us. This can wait for another time. Business comes before pleasure. Where are you going? Cancel the dinner. I've got some personal business to deal with. I understand. I'll wait for you then. You promised that you will deal with the other problem. I'll take care of it tonight. You have my word on that. <laughs>
Victoria. Your sword play is impressive. Too bad for you. I dislike little girl with a sharp tongue. I don't know why you're here. It looks like one of us has to go. You should not look down on me. Shall we begin? <laughs> I don't owe you anything. We're over. Your brother made me lose faith. He was the best business partner I had. Too bad. But he got too greedy. You've always envied my brother. Because he made more money than you did. And that's why you ruined his business. I can't lose to a brother the way I lost you. My memories of you are still buried deep in my heart. I've stopped loving you. You'd never appreciate my love. You hurt me deeply with your broken promises. <laughs> Christine, give me a hand before Brenda gets back. Are you ignoring me again? <laughs> I know there's nothing I can do to win you back. I got a business proposition for you. What more do you want from me, huh? Isn't that enough that you completely ruined my life? <laughs> if you cooperate, no harm will come to the little girl. What are you talking about? What girl? Your boyfriend has a very pretty sister. You'll be ashamed if I sell her. You miserable bastard! How can you steep so low? Why are you doing this? All I ask is for you to persuade your boyfriend to give up the dojo. Why are you so interested in the school? Blame it on your brother. If he hadn't stolen my 50 grand and hid it from me in that dojo, you won't be dismissed. Everything he owed you, I paid back. Why would Aaron steal 50 grand from you? My dear Santa, I greatly hope that you can forgive me for being too impulsive. But even so, I must repay June for his unforgivable treachery and for wrecking our lives. Although my time here is limited, I have entrusted Brandon to protect you through the evidence that I have obtained so that June can be convicted for murder and fraud. I regret to leave without seeing you once more. Therefore, I must bid you farewell, my beloved sister, your loving brother, Aaron. I give you an hour to convince your boyfriend. After I got my money, you'll both free. Vinny, what happened to you? Vinny, where's Christine?
Christine and I were assaulted by a mysterious woman. She temporarily blinded me and took off with her. What the hell is this all about? Here, listen, come inside with me. I can treat your wounds, and you can tell me everything in there. Anna, where have you been? I've been trying to reach you all day. I'm so sorry. I caused you so much trouble. Listen, I have some terrible news. A woman is holding Christine hostage. My ex-boyfriend is here, and he's holding me and Christine captive. Listen, what is going on here? What does he want? He's after money that my brother hid in your school. And he says if you'll cooperate, he'll let us go. I cannot let that son of a bitch do this. Listen, where did he tell Aaron to hide the money? My brother, he hid it. So, have you made up your mind? Yeah, you can have the dojo. But on one condition, you never my sister or Anna again, or I will hunt you down like a dog. Do we have a deal? Wonderful. We'll meet you at the dojo tomorrow morning to seal the deal.